How's it going, everybody? My name is Mr. Holic here, and welcome to a new game called Skin Taker. I think that's what it's called. Maybe it didn't happen, but more than later. As you can see, guys, I am back in my old studio where I first began my channel. I still have to get used to the lights and stuff. Ooh, this looks fun. Oh, oh, sorry guys, I had to do something for just a little bit. Okay, let me introduce my friends. Which are about to die soon, maybe. That's Darren. I wouldn't say he is in our group of friends, leader. Or, uh, fuck your phone. I would, he's the one that always gets in all of the house. The action. He's the first one to hit on that cute girl by the bar. He's the first one to jump from the roof to the swimming pool. According to himself, he's even more impulsive when he was a kid. I can only imagine his childhood and often he must have broken his leg, scraped his knee, or hit his head. Okay, I don't really care about him. Let's go to something. We have known each other since we were children. We met each other when she moved into the house next door when she was seven. My mom told me to go show her around the neighborhood. And after that, we were capable for years. She's a nice girl, although her health isn't the best. She has some kind of heart problem, which I forgot the name of. This forced her to be away from school during extended periods of, of time during her childhood. Because of this, until we started uh, university, I was her only friend. Wow, she never complained. Happy girl. Okay, so she's a happy girl. Next is me. I'm Joe. As the name implies, I'm pretty normal. I don't have any overwhelming bad qualities, but on the other hand, I don't have any overwhelmingly good ones either. I live in this apartment a short walk from the university. This is where us four friends usually gather before we get going. This guy here, all relaxed in my bed, is Michael. He's my neighbor living in the apartment next door. One day while I had over, he just barged in. Hey man, your place looks pretty nice. Mind if I join you for dinner? He said. As you can imagine, he's pretty pushy. I don't think he's realized it himself. He came over several times after that day. After that, we somehow naturally became friends. Alright. Normally you got hot pockets with me. Yeah. One day, Dan came with an idea that we should go camping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We did well I'm eating, sorry. So camping we went. It could be fun, right? Of course me, Michael and Jose disliked the idea of staying in a cabin. It's a camping trip. We had to go sleep in the wilderness. So Dan told us about the woods near the cabin. I don't remember about the trip to the cabin. We joked around. We took a few breaks, normal stuff. Either way, we dove up to the cabin and left the car there. We took a short break in the cabin and set out to the wilderness. We went pretty far in. I can't say how far in distance actually, but it took several hours to get to where we set the camp. The, ne the first day we just stared around, nothing abnormal happened. But then... Oh, there we go! I had a feeling... But then... There's always a but. No jokes. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, no. Right. Let's see if we got an inventory or some sort of something. Cooking pot. That's the cooking pot. I don't need to go in there right now. Did you sleep well last night? Okay. 
fireplace, we need to get some more firewood. Morning, there should be a good afternoon. So we have some water for the fire, yeah? I set out to gather wood for a new fire and water to cook with. Alright. Drop that stick. Put it right there. What is that sound? It doesn't sound like something you hear in the forest. We should go. That sound stopped. Alright, I have to go get the bucket. We could cook now. My head hurts. Alright, so his head hurts. Alright, let's cook something, shall we? Later that evening. Oh. Time to sleep soon. We're out death. Time tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to the four hour trip. Maybe we should run deep in. <laughs> Every time I've been here before, there have never been a pop. I really. It's really chilly outside for being in. Middle of summer. Hey, anyone else hear that sound? I heard you mention it. What is that? Sounds really metally. Metally? <laughs> Shut up, asshole. It's a word if I say so. It stopped. Maybe some kind of machine. Who the hell would go out hours? from the nearest civilization in the middle of the night and start running up some kind of weird machine who gives a shit it's probably someone using a chainsaw or something go to sleep I'm tired that sure it was no chainsaw I wonder what it was ok let's go to sleep guys sleeping soon Overtook everyone. But something woke you up a few hours later. Your half awake state. You stumble outside the tent. I don't like the feeling. Darren? Michael? Is that you? The mess is even thicker than before. I should go check that thought. Come on, you have to have a safe state somewhere. Oh god, what the hell is that sound? Hello? Michael, is that you? Say something, will you? Who are you? I don't like the food. Whoa! Stop right there! I have a knife! Shit. I'm going back to the tent. Okay, I want to- Shut up, um! Wake up! There's something outside the tent! Huh? What? I'm sure there's a lot of squirrels. Oh mm, shit. Go back to sleep. Hey, is Michael here? Mm, yeah, I'm here. Why be? I don't know. Something's outside. Look like you. Probably an animal. Mm, that's scary shit right there. 
I don't think we have to worry about a fox or whatever. Take it easy. Let's go back to sleep. We'll be alright. Maybe it was just some animal. But those sounds. I don't like the feeling. A few minutes later. Okay, drop it. Whoever is that, that is, I want to sleep already. It wasn't me. Me neither. That didn't sound like any of our voices. Well, shit. Now I'm never going to be able to go to sleep. Should we go outside and look? What if it's some crazy psycho with an axe? All the more reasons to check it out. It's not like it's a tent of some of a fortress. Seriously, if that was one of those guys, tell me right now. This isn't funny anymore. I seriously don't feel I don't like the feeling. Okay. Get it out together and check it out. I ain't going alone. Alright. This shit's scaring the fuck out of me already, guys. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Calm down. We all four against one here. We'll be fine. What if the dude got some kind of weapon with him? I mean, he killed this little crow, didn't he? Michael is right. We gotta get the hell out of here. We can't just up and leave in the middle of the night. What about our stuff? Screw our stuff. I'm not staying here another night. Fine. We'll leave. And the la least being the flashlight. Some food and water. I think oh last thought we haven't even seen anyone. So someone or something left this dead creature here. I guess you're right. Let's get the flashlight. Anyone bring some stuff you think we might need. A couple minutes later. Alright, let's go. What is the animal though? Now how the bloody fuck do you save? Hmm. So dark. I see. Not pitch black. Right? That's a pain. Holy crap, they're actually being followed. Well, they're fucked. Alright, guys. Well. Very obvious Darren had no idea where we were going. But I have to end this episode here guys. Because my, my time's almost up. So leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe. Tell your friends about this. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Then Mr. Hulk signing off. Peace.